Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade 12s. It is still your favorite tutor, Mr. Shajayo. Welcome to Back to Basics. Look, we are still looking at our arithmetic sequence, right? We are just looking at different past papers to try and understand in terms of how do we go about whenever we are required, you know, to answer these questions, right? You are more than welcome to always go back to our previous videos, you know, to get a little bit of context in terms of what is arithmetic sequence and everything like that, right? So welcome, welcome. So I think this is the past paper from the year. I think this is 2024, right? And this was written, I think this is from the KZN province. This was their March test, right? 2024. Okay. Now, so let's look at this. So they are saying, consider the arithmetic sequence. You are having eight, you're having 15, you're having 22. They want us to determine in terms of what is going to be the 36 term, right? Right. Now, what is it that you are going to do now from here? You are going to start here. Remember, this is 8, this is 15, this is 22, right? So, which means now you are going to start by finding what is going to be the difference in here, right? So, how do you find the difference? You always uh, take the second term, subtract from the first term, and you take also your third term, subtract from the second term, right? So, which means when you are saying 15, subtract 8, this is 7. And when you say 22 subtract 15, this is also 7, right? So which means then now this is going to be same as Tn is equals to A plus N subtract 1D. Now what is the value of your A? The A represents your first term, which means your first term is 8 plus N subtract 1. We said our difference was 7, right? So which means this will end up being 8 plus uh, this is going to be 7 and subtract 7, right? Remember, we are distributing the value of your 7 outside there, right? So which means now, uh, when you are collecting all the like terms, you are going to end up having what? Now, from here, isn't it that this is going to be same as 7 and plus 1, if I'm not mistaken, right? This is going to be same as 7 and plus 1, <laughs> right? So... And then now from here, you can then say, look, what is my term 36? This is going to be same as 7 into 36 plus 1, right? And then what is going to be 7 into 36 uh, plus 1? You are going to end up having 253. Okay. So term 36 is going to be 253. Right. So basically now that's how we do that uh, first question. Now let's look at the second one now. So in the second one now they want us to use the sum, right? The sum formula to calculate the sum of the first 36 term, right? So which means now what is it that you're going to do? Now you are going to say my sum of the 20, uh, 36 term. There are two ways that you can do this, right? Firstly, you can use SN the same as N over 2. This is going to be open bracket 2a plus this is n subtract 1d, right? Now we are looking for sum of 36 terms, right? So which means where there is n, you can write 36 divide by 2 into 2. Then the value of our a, remember it was 8. Then this is going to be plus, this is going to be same as 36 subtract 1 into 7, right? Remember the difference was 7. Now, when you plug all of this in your calculator, your S of 36, it is going to end up being 4, uh, I think this is going to be 4,698, right? 698,000, right? Now, this is going to be 4,698, uh, 4, isn't it, right? One, look, one can also use this. Remember, we also have this formula of SN, same as N over 2. This is going to be A plus your L, which represents your last term, right? Do we have our last term? Yes, we did calculate our last term, which was uh, 253, right? So which means here for your sum of 36, right? S of 36, this is going to be same as 36 over 2 into the value for your A was 8 plus the L, right? Or your last term, it was 253, right? When you plug all of this in your calculator, you are going to end up having what? You are going to also end up having the same answer, which was 4698. All right, together. So I am hoping that this one makes sense. Now, let's look at the second one and see in terms of what else then can we have in here, right? Now, so let's look at now uh, the last one, right? What is it that they are required to do now here? They say it is given that... 
uh, term 72 plus 72 subtract m is equals to uh, 786. Now, they want us to determine what is going to be the value of your what, what is going to be the value of your m. Now, what is the best thing that one can do in here? Let's let's just make up our space here. All right now, so firstly, here uh, in this particular question, now they are looking to find out in terms of firstly what is going to be our term 72, right? Now we can start by finding out what is going to be your term 72, right? So, which means we can say, look, my TN, remember the TN that we calculated was what? We said TN, uh, it was what? It was given by, I think this was 7N subtract 1, right? Or plus 1 rather. Are we together? Yes, it was plus 1. Then which means now this is same as now if you are plugging in the 72, this is going to be same as 7 into, now if you are looking for term 72, this is going to be 7 into 72 plus 1, right? Now, let's look. Now, when, you say, when you're saying 7 into 72 uh, plus 1, you are going to get 505, right? This is 505, right? Oh, it's again. So, which means this is the first one, right? We've calculated this one. Now, we can look at the second one. Now, they are saying uh, we are also having T of 72 subtract M. How do we then do that? How do you then do that for an example? Now we are going to say, look, uh, starting from here, now we are going to say uh, we are going to have T72 uh, subtract M, right? So which means where there is uh, N, we are going to write 72 subtract M, right? Which means this is going to be 7 into 72 subtract M plus 1. And then what is going to be this one? Now this is going to be same as now 500. Remember, this is still the same as uh, your 505, right? Uh, rather, 504, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. If you are saying 7 multiplied by 72, you are getting 504, right? This is 504. Now, 7 subtract m. This is going to be negative 7m, right? Negative 7m. This is going to be now plus 1, which means this is same as what? This is same as your 505 minus 7m. Are we together? Uh, then basically now that's what you are going to have. And then now from here, what is it that you are going to do? Now you are going to equate. Remember they said term 72 plus term 72 subtract m is equal to 786 right now what is going to be term 72 this is 505 uh plus what is it that you're going to have here this is still 505 subtract 7m is equal to 786 oh it's again right so basically now that's what you are having in here and now uh, if you want to plug this in your calculator and see in terms of what is that you are going to do. Now, this is 510, uh, this is 505 plus 505, which is going to be 1010, right? Which is going to 1010. This is 1010. Subtract 7m is equals to uh, 786. And then now from here, you can do what? Now you can transpose uh, this one to this other side, right? Now, when you're transposing, what is that you're going to get, right? For an example, you take, can take the 7m, that side, which means you're going to have 7m is equals to, uh, 7m is same as your 101 subtract uh, 786, right? Which is going to give you 224. Let's get, right? This is same as 224. Then now from here, you can divide by 7. You can divide by 7, which means the value of your m here. Uh, if you are dividing by 7, the value of your M is going to be same as your 32. Oh, it's okay. Yes. So basically now you've calculated your value of your M, right? So basically this is how we go about whenever, you know, we do these types of questions, right? Hopefully all of this makes sense to you. And thank you very much for listening.